Hello and welcome to this quick and dirty Connextras follow-up video on the touch lamp video. If you're here without seeing that first one, click that thing and then watch it first because this really isn't going to make any sense without at least knowing that context. Uh, one thing that I totally intended to do but just forgot was to see what the power consumption of the modern version is. And part of the reason why I just kind of put it in the back of my mind was because I figured it's going to be nearly identical based upon that big one watt resistor which you find in both this board and the other one. This is, um, don't ask me to tell you what exactly the type of power supply is, if it's a capacitive dropper or whatever. Don't really know. Prob maybe it's got some Zener diodes and those two fairly big capacitors, but I kind of expect this to consume the same amount of power as the one in the actual lamp. Um, this is from the jukebox video, this rig. None of this, none of the buttons or relay are hooked up. This socket is just wired directly to this board. And so this is the lamp cord. So you've got the hot going in there. All the neutrals go in one place in this design. And then the lamp hot, the lamp socket hot, is the red wire. And the yellow is your touch sensor. So uh, here's the kilowatt. I'm going to try to plug it in so we can see the light too in case it does the same kind of pulse behavior. It does not. But yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. We got, it's basically 100 milliwatts less because this is going between 0.3 and 0.4 rather than 0.4 and 0.5. Uh, other thing to check is does it actually work? <laughs> well, <laughs> I did not feel a thing, but I think I just blew the circuit breaker. What just happened? <laughs> Hang on. That actually blew the frickin' breaker. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm gonna unplug it because it's still plugged in before I reset that. Okay, so the triac exploded. That's what happened. The triac blew apart fun and on the bottom of the board there's there's our little char mark um that trace looks to have just disappeared um what is that you can't really tell it's i mean it's from the triac those three solder blobs there from the triaxis. So the middle turn, I, my guess is that was designed to act as a fuse. So what is that lamp socket shorted? I gotta get my uh, voltmeter out. This is much more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, no, it is not shorted. Um, I tested the leads already and I know this is very, 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 very crude, but this this is from the light socket. That's not shorted, and I can test the leads. Let me put the bulb back in, in case it's shorted. I mean, I may have miswired it, but I don't think so. It'd be amazing if that bulb shorted. Hang on. Okay, you know what? The bulb is burnt out, and it wasn't before. I wonder, did this short? It's a horrible, terrible socket. But why would it short? It doesn't look like, okay. This is a very old bulb. I'm aware of that. And like, you can even tell it's blackened, so it was running out of useful life, but like, it doesn't look like Anything shorted out. This is the intact one. The only thing, the only thing I did with with uh, with this one was bend the triac up because it was kind of bent down originally. But that that exploded cleanly. It was not in two halves. 
And it's so weird because like it was alive and it was only when it tried to turn on the bulb after I touched it that it exploded. This is so weird. I'm looking at the diagram. That's not helpful. It's not even, the diagram's on the package. Hang on. Okay, so we've got, why are they not? Why are they S1 at? Well, anyway, I'm sure. Why are they labeled? Oh, okay. So S1, white sensor lead, black sensor lead is S2. I think I did wire this wrong. Because the line cord goes across S2 and S3? What? Are you kidding? This is the stupidest... <laughs> L1 is black... Are you kidding? This is the dumbest wire colors I've ever seen. So the lamp cord goes to S2, which is black, and S3, which is red. So red goes to neutral, I guess it doesn't matter. This is very dumb. So it doesn't use the same wire colors. <laughs> Only that yellow is, is um, well, now I gotta look back. Was the red wire connected to the black or white wire? Anyway, I'm gonna try to reconnect this correctly so we can observe but now that bulb is dead, so that sucks. Uh... Okay, kids, this is why you always refer to your wiring diagram before you wire things. But in my defense, this is the stupidest possible wire colors I can think of. Take a look at this. S2, which is the black sensor wire. This is black. Where does that go? To P2. What is P2? Neutral. The freaking neutral of the lamp cord. They want you wiring neutral to the black wire on this. And then hot P1 goes to this nut, which has three things attached to it. That is S3, red, hot, and then the hot of the uh, lamp itself. So they want the hot wire going to red and also black of the lamp, rather than the black wire I gotta tighten that down, this is not, wire nuts aren't good and these are the wrong size. Anyway, this is just so dumb. But I think this is wired correctly now. Uh, I, I hope so, otherwise um, we're not gonna get the full test that I want to do, but I'm so glad that I indulged in the magic of buying two of them once more. Okay, so just to recap the absurdity of these colors, this black wire to the box is on the neutral of the lamp cord. Who would do that? Black is hot in North America. That should be the hot lead. But no, they have the hot lead. And I know my lamp cord is white, which isn't helping things, but the hot lead is going to the red and also the hot of the lamp. If anything, you would expect the red to be a new hot that this provides, not shared. This is so incredibly stupid. But anyway, here's a 60 watt bulb incandescent that we can hopefully I think it's six yeah 60 and I've got the power back on and I'm almost afraid to plug this in but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go over the wiring again one more time with you here's the lamp this is going to the socket it is uh, white of the neutral that's L2 going to S1 Yes, and then the other side, L1, is going to the red wire. That's S3, good. And then hot, hot power wire, P1. Yes, and then black from the actual module is going to, S2 is going to P2, which is neutral. That's so stupid. Uh, anyway, let's plug it in now. Hope it doesn't explode, at least now it's in the box.
while it's awake and consuming the, the exact same amount of power. I did not see the bulb flash. I don't know if that was visible. I swear I'm afraid to touch this now. It's wired very differently though. Jeez, I don't want to touch it. Do I have to touch it longer than that? <laughs> like a little kid. It's not turning on. Is the bulb not connecting? Well, that's a better sign that it hasn't exploded. This bulb could be out, actually, now that I think about it. It hasn't exploded, so we're good there. Let me get the... <laughs> you're, you're, you're getting such behind the scenes content, you're looking at the floor. Oh, I gotta move this up. This lamp is really fidgety. Good gravy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So this is working now. If you, I am so, I, you know, I would be more mad at myself were it not so stupid that you put the neutral on the black wire. Anyway. We have the same deal going on, and this is in fact way dimmer than the other controller because this is this is a warm glow bulb and it's actually warm. The other one was much higher, and in fact, um, on the kilowatt it pulled 24 watts on the lowest setting with a 40 watt bulb. So the lowest setting on the old lamp is more than half bright. This one is a uh, Hardly lit. It's very, very dim. I'm going to see if I have an actual incandescent bulb. Finally, I found one, so th that works. Uh, so this is a 60 watt bulb. Yep. And you can see on the kilowatt, that's full brightness, 60 watts. Off is obviously going to be that 0 0.3, 0 0.4. And on is, or the lowest setting is 18 watts, so it's 9. 19 ish so it's less than a third of the power rather than more than half so yeah this the the lowest setting is definitely usable as a night light as opposed to the other lamp where the low setting is about half brightness uh, and the last thing I wanted to do is get the thermal camera and look at the board in its various states I was hoping this video would be a lot shorter but I suppose an explosion makes it more interesting Here's the unexploded board as it comes out of the case. Uh, I forgot also the capacitors were folded over. I will give this credit when I looked up the Triac. That is a 200 watt or capable of 200 watts, but the box the box gives it 150 max. So they're giving you a bit of a margin of safety. And this box does have, not on that side, but the bottom casing has some ventilation holes. But anyway, let's get the thermal camera and see what this looks like. So this is a, a little small um, for the thermal camera to really have a... It's too close between the uh, thermal lens and the image lens. So you can see that things are not aligned right. But that 1 watt resistor is definitely the hottest component. I mean, it's if this scale is accurate, it's 50, 40, 50 degrees Celsius. Um, the, the chip itself doesn't really appear to have any sort of thermal build up it's mainly that resistor so the power supply is the most inefficient part now if i turn it on the triac should in theory begin to warm up because now it's actually working and i, I would imagine on the lowest settings i'll put it on medium because that might be a little more intense but there's the uh there's the bulb good old incandescent bulbs just producing heat because it's what they do it's not even that hot yet but oh boy it's getting toasty real quick and that's not even on high yeah you can start to see the track is getting a little warmer But definitely the biggest power consumer is just that big fat resistor. So it's pretty much, 
honestly, this is pretty much what I expected because it looks to be a one watt resistor. And I thought, you know, that's going to be the biggest power draw of the board itself. And that's largely why I just totally forgot to test the new one. Although I'm glad I didn't because you got to see an explosion. But yeah, now the triac is actually heating up. It's still at about 50-55 C. And the triac is 36. About. And then if I turn it off, the triac will probably cool down. Yeah, it's going to be a while before you see anything, but sure enough, it's mainly that resistor that's getting hot. Everything else is pretty cool, and then the triac itself when it's actually under a load. So this is uh, this bulb being 60 watts was the bulk of its, uh, or not the bulk, roughly a third of its intended capacity. Um, so yeah, the triac could certainly handle 150 watts, I think, no problem. And even then, it might get a little warmer than the resistor, but... I can't imagine much. So that's it. The currently available for sale touch modules are A, well at least the ones at Menards have stupid wire colors. Uh, so if you're going to do this, watch the diagram carefully because what is intuitive is wrong. And um, other than that though, they use about the same power as the old ones. So that might be the biggest reason these have uh, gone out of fashion because if you imagine you have like 10 of these lamps throughout your house. That's five watts of draw all the time, which still not a lot, but I mean, that adds up. I did, uh, I did the math and a half watt of draw over a year is like 40 cents. So at least for 10 cents per kilowatt hour prices. So yeah, mostly insignificant, but $4 a year just to have touch lamps might be a little silly. I don't know. It's up to your priorities. I did realize this plug is not polarized. I thought it was, but it is not. So it might not have exploded if I plugged it in the other way, but for sure I had it wired wrong. Let me know in the comments who's right here, because I think it is absolutely absurd to have the black wire of the board go to supply neutral and put the hot on red and then also the lamp hot. If anything, you would think you hook white and black up like you do any other appliance, and red is the special wire. Oh, this is dumb. Anyway, what is this now? A 12, 15 minute video? But it had an explosion in it, so I hope you liked it.